Welcome back to Classrooms in Motion. Great ideas for the classroom. During this segment, we'll talk about materials, resources, ideas, and concepts that classroom teachers are using that is keeping education moving. Today's segment, we will focus in on behavior. As an educator, we can all agree that managing our students' behavior is critical to the teaching learning process. One idea that can help us do that is a lesson in a box that can be the first line of intervention in a team discipline plan. But before we get started, I have advice about a couple of things. First, know your student. It is critical to discipline to know your students because we can all agree that all students do not respond to discipline in the same manner. My other advice is when you're creating your lesson in a box to please keep your students in mind. Their abilities, the content area, and the materials that you use. When we talk about a lesson in a box, this is an intervention that team members use. Each team member has a designated area in their classroom. And in their classroom, they place a lesson in a box. We have the reading, the math, and science. Let's talk about what goes into a lesson in a box. Here I have the ELA reading and writing box. On the cover, I've used letters to identify the box. It's a simple shoe box. Inside the box, I have attached with a glue stick the letter of responsibility. On the letter of responsibility, it has materials, graded lesson assignments, and list of responsibilities for the student. Inside of the box are lessons for the student that you can designate as graded or you can just put lessons in here to just give the student an opportunity to regroup. Within the ELA grammar box, we have for our lessons a journal, comprehension book, and reading material with a graphic organizer. I happen to love these. They're called a literature t-shirt. And prior to putting any type of graphic organizer in a box, make sure you introduce your student to this particular type of graphic organizer. The materials that should be in every ELA box. A dictionary. Pen and pencil pros and cons. Now, when you send your student away, the last thing you want is for your student to become even more frustrated. That's why I say again, know your students. I advise, my advice is not to use the pencil that requires sharpening. Use the mechanical pencils. And then we all know that we have students that say, I can't use a pen. I have to have a pencil. Or, I can't use a pencil. I have to have a pen. To alleviate that, put them both in the box. The other materials that you will include in your box is line sheet of papers. Everything should be fit very neatly into the box. And I love the way that this folds in there. Put it back down. place it in the designated teacher's classroom, and there you have it, a lesson in a box. 